Uh, I'd like to introduce now the Executive Director of the Buckminster Fuller Institute, Elizabeth Thompson. <clears throat> and it is really her dedication, her creativity, uh, her grace and innate sense of collaboration that has brought us to this point. So I welcome her and she will tell us more about the Buckminster Fuller Challenge. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and joining us today on this very, very special occasion. Uh, we are indeed delighted to be here in Chicago to confer the second uh, Buckminster Fuller Challenge Prize. And as you've just heard from Allegra, Chicago played a crucially important role in Bucky's life. It's here that the kind of key driving principles of his work were discovered and put into practice. And those principles, which are really at the heart of what he called comprehensive anticipatory design science. It's this approach to, problem, to solving complex problems that's at the center of the mission of the Buckminster Fuller Institute and of our leading program, the Buckminster Fuller Challenge. The challenge was launched in an effort to seek out contemporary examples of design science and promote this approach as a vitally important contribution to the current thinking about how to understand and solve the world's most pressing problems. And I just want to spend a couple minutes uh, on this concept of design science before I just get into a few specifics about the challenge program. Uh, Fuller used this term to describe a process a methodological approach, an occupation, and his output as a whole. Uh, comprehensive anticipatory design science, in my opinion, is best understood as a worldview, a methodological approach, and a core set of design principles. Design science is an integrative discipline where the findings of the sciences and humanities and humanities are brought together to solve complex problems. It starts with a few underlying assumptions about the universe and the world. Allegra mentioned the option to make it. It assumes that we have the option to make it. There are enough resources for everybody to enjoy a standard of living never seen before. Design science is an approach to organize those resources in such a way that enables all of humanity to be successful. The individual has a unique and purposeful function in the universe. We are all integrally part of the universe, participants in its evolution. The design scientist is a local problem solver, continually expanding experience of universe. The design science approach stems from a deep personal and abiding concern for the state of the world and a lifetime commitment to employing one's creative talent to designing a world that works for all of humanity. Literally, that's a literal concept of all of humanity. Uh, and lastly, uh, the idea of interdependence, an underlying empirically based understanding of the interdependence of humans with each other and their environments, also at the core of this, this approach. As a process for solving problems, design science is first and foremost a design strategy in contradistinction to a political or change human behavior approach. It is a strategy which, which seeks to change the larger system of which the specific problem is a part through the introduction of innovative artifacts, strategies, or policies. It is a, as an approach, it takes as its crucial starting point a well-articulated preferred state for the world, a process in which one defines a desired future free of the constraints of how the world currently works. The criteria uh, for ending the Buckminster Fuller Challenge represents a distillation of the essential measurable components of a design science solution. These solutions are comprehensive. They're addressing the interaction of key issues responsible for present conditions. They aim to solve multiple problems simultaneously without creating new ones. They are anticipatory, factoring in critical future trends and needs, as well as potential long-term impacts of an implementation, a strategy's implementation. They are ecologically responsible, reflecting nature's underlying principles while enhancing the Earth's life support systems. <laughs> they are feasible, relying on current technologies and existing resources, verifiable, 
able to withstand rigorous empirical testing and finally replicable. They're able to scale and adopt to a broad range of conditions. Lastly, they are what Fuller called trim tabs. You'll hear a little bit more about this uh, in, in others' remarks. They're catalysts inserted into a failing system at the right time and place that accelerate the transition to an equitable and sustainable future. The Buckminster Fuller Challenge was launched in 2007 to attract and support the work of individuals around the world who were deploying this kind of approach to addressing our world's most pressing problems. What we have discovered thus far is a tremendously inspiring outpouring, outpouring of ideas, strategies, and solutions from all over the world. It's, it's a tremendous <coughs> privilege to uh, to be able to uh, uh, read these incredible entries that, that come to us uh, when we put the call for proposals out each fall. These solutions are addressing some of the most entrenched problems with strategies from across the disciplinary spectrum. From modular micro-remediation systems for city streets, to a traveling climate change world's fair, to software systems to visualize carbon emissions, to cyclone resistant shelters for women in rural Bangladesh, to water harvesting communities, community centers in rural India. It's, it's a remarkable demonstration of individual initiative, of people seeing what needs to be done and doing it. This is happening all over the world. There are a few people in the audience today who have entered their work into the Buckminster Fuller Challenge. And on behalf of BFI, I want to thank you for your work, for your commitment, and we congratulate you on your vision and your dedication. These are people in addition to those who we're going to uh, honor today. We've been deeply gratified by the feedback we've received from some of you who have entered the challenge, you have expressed how the process of grappling with our criteria and its framework of design science has really <coughs> pushed you to rethink how you're going about uh, uh, thinking about your solution and uh, deepening your approach. And that's really what, what one of the things that we're, we're trying to accomplish here.